Hey everyone, Yvonne here. Today, we're gonna go over Shopify collections, how to add them and utilize them in order to improve our user experience. I build over a dozen different e-commerce stores, ranging from fitness products to cleaning supplies. So having collections inside of your guys' store is gonna tremendously improve your guys' AOV. So let's get right into it. So first of all, what is a collection? So reading from the definition here, Shopify collections are groupings of products that you can set up to make it much easier for your customers to browse through all the different products within a certain category. Simply put, we're able to put different products within the same niche all together, making it much easier for your users to browse through them. That way, instead of a person trying to scour through the whole website of trying to find a specific item, they can just click on the selection and it'll be right there in its niche. Now, there are many different niches out there. For example, let's say we have a sports store. There are going to be different departments ranging from hockey to golf to football. But today we're going to go over the one I personally practice myself, which is triathlon. So within the triathlon department, there's going to be a bunch of different products that relate to that specific sport, such as goggles, biking equipment, or anything that relates to running. Now, let's go over how how we build a collection in Shopify. So first we would just need to click on products, click on collections, and I've actually already done it myself, but here you just press on create collection. You're able to input a title, what it's gonna be named, a little description if needed, add an image on how it's gonna appear. Now there are two different options here when it comes to our collections, the manual and the automated. So if we select the manual, we would just have to manually add the products one by one for our collection. However, if we did select the automated one, we would just have to add a specific tag that our products would have in order for them to be automatically placed into it. And whenever you guys are ready to go, press save and your collection is gonna be saved. So in my case, it's gonna be the triathlon one. So as you guys can see here, I put an image on it and there's gonna be one active product. So how did I get here? Now, if we go back and we press on products, you can actually add any product that you like. So in our case scenario, I added swimming goggles, right? Because it probably relate to the triathlon. So it's very simple to do. As you guys can see, all you need to do is just add a name of a product, add an image of it, add a different product category it is, a tag, right? When it comes to the automatic collections, the price of the item, all those things. And one that's ready to go, press save and you have your product ready. And if you guys want to add it to your collection, it's very straightforward. You just got to go to your collections, press the collection that you're interested in, press the browse through the products, and you can search for your products in there. I only have one, but for example, swimming goggles, put it in, add it, press done, and you guys are ready to go. You'll be added to your guys' collections. Now, whenever we want to apply it to our website, here's how we're going to do it. So let's first go back to home, click on your online store, press customize. You just press add a section and you're actually going to get two different options. First, it's going to be the feature collection. Second, it's going to be the collection list. Now, they're going to be a little different. So when it comes to the feature collection, this is going to be a list of all the items in that specific collection, right? So it's going to display them item by item. So if we click on feature collection, all we got to do is select our collection, click triathlon, and boom. And since we only have one item, one item is going to appear in our feature collection. But if we had more, all of them will go one by one and we would click on them individually. Now, when it comes to the collection list, it's going to be a little different. As you guys can see, there's different collections that are in place. Now, these are not products by themselves, but instead the groups of them in a collection. So as you guys can see, there's three different ones here. So if we want to incorporate those into what we've already built, we just click on a selection that we want to change, select one, and boom, that whole bulk of products is going to be there. And instead of having the user click through all the different products out there, they just can click on a specific niche and it's going to pop up all for them. That way, they don't need to scour through the website if they're trying to find something really specific, such as triathlon goods. And there you guys have it. You now know how collections work on Shopify. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Additionally, feel free to use the link down below for your own taste of Shopify. For you guys' first month, it's only going to be $1, and there's also a list of our own Shopify apps that you can use for your own store. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, peace.